express as a single fraction with positive exponents only. So it's a little bit different uh, algebra problem here. So we'll start maybe by making sure that all of the exponents are positive. So to do that, what we can do is bring things downstairs. So if you have x to the negative 1, you can write that as 1 over x to the 1, or just x. Really, It's really an x to the 1 here, but I'm not going to write the 1. Plus, likewise, you could bring this downstairs, and it becomes 1 over x squared. You can always do that, right? Because x to the negative 1 is really the same as x to the negative 1 over 1. And when you bring it down, the exponent changes sign, right? Very, very powerful uh, mathematics. Now we have to add these. So we want the uh, common denominator here, or the least common denominator, or a common denominator. So x squared is going to be that. So we can make this left one here an x squared by multiplying by x over x. If we do that, we get x times 1, which is x, and then x times x, which is x squared, and then plus 1 over x squared. Okay, so now everything is over x squared, so we can perform the addition. This is x plus 1, all being divided by x squared. And that would be the final answer. We can do the same thing over here. Let's go ahead and make these exponents positive. So we'll bring the x down, so it's 2 over x, minus, and then 3 over y cubed. And this time, uh, the LCD, you just multiply to get it, so x times y cubed. So on the left, we're missing y cubed, so we multiply by y cubed over y cubed. And on the right, we're missing uh, an x, so we multiply by x over x. So this will be 2y cubed over, I'm going to write this as x y cubed, minus 3x over x y cubed. And now we can perform the subtraction. So this is equal to 2 y cubed minus x over x y cubed. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.